The quad trailer takes a two inch tow ball and this three inch drop ball mount positions the hitch ball to the right height so the trailer tows level. Now we have towed the trailer with this setup, but never with the camper on the truck. So I'm hoping that the weight of the camper doesn't squat the truck down so low that the trailer will be tilted down too much. But that can be easily corrected with a different ball mount. The real challenge can be seen here. The camper's back overhang puts the ball too deeply out of reach of the trailer's tongue. We're going to have to get that ball out nearly three feet further for workable turning clearance. And we're going to do it with this, a 34 inch Kurt Hitch extension. It'll slide into the truck's two and a half inch receiver, span the distance, and then reduce down to accept the two inch ball mount. We will see some reduction in gross trailer weight and tongue weight capacities, but our application should fall within limits. The extension safety chains to the truck's class 5 hitch. For this first time out, we'll be towing a light load with only kayaks and bicycles loaded on the trailer and minimal weight in the cargo box. The next time, we'll have 1,500 pounds of quads loaded and 200 pounds of fuel and equipment in the cargo box on the tongue. The trailer is a single axle and I plan to pay careful attention to how I load and distribute the weight of the quads over and in front of the axle. Now I must admit I lack experience and knowledge when it comes to proper tongue weight for safe towing with a setup such as this. So I'd welcome comments and advice from those of you who might offer me some tips. With the extension safety chains already anchored to the hitch, the trailer safety chains hook to the extension. Luckily, the trailer light's cable is long enough to reach the truck's receptacle and plug in with just about the right amount of slack. So there it is, the solution to towing our flatbed trailer with the camper on the truck. Wait a minute, that trailer doesn't look level. Rewind please. Yep, the camper's weight did squat down the truck enough to cause some trailer nose down. But now we have the fix for that with the zero drop ball mount, which will become part of the camper on extension setup. The old three inch drop mount will save for the camper off trailer towing. With the trailer towing setup now squared away, it's time to relax and have some fun.